I was introduced to the song, In the Bulb, There's a Flower, at a dedication service in the United States some years back. What an incredible message that song holds. Some of the words go like this, in the bulb there's a flower, in the seed an apple tree, in cocoons a hidden praise. Butterflies will soon be free. In the cold and snow of winter, there's a spring that waits to be unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. There's so much in that song going on, because along with all of our hoping for spring to come after a long cold winter, we're finally here, thankful for refreshing breezes and cooler nights. Along with the changes that happen weather-wise with the passing of seasons, there's also the changes that happen in our lives through varying seasons of discovery and anticipation, or seasons of dread and heartache. Everything has its season. That's the theme of chapter three in the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes. For everything, there's a season, the scripture says, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance. Well, the passage goes on and at each verse you and I know which one of those two seasons we might prefer. We like birth and harvest and laughter and dancing. Yet as Natalie Sleeth's hymn puts it well, in the very last verse she writes, in our end is our beginning, in our time, infinity. In our doubt there is believing, and in our life, eternity. And then she closes the song with this remarkable statement. In our death, a resurrection, at the last, a victory, unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. Well, God knows what is yet to come in our lives, but thank God we are not alone in the journey. The promise is real for everyone who walks through the changing seasons of life, holding firmly to the assurance that, that God not only sees what is unrevealed to us at the moment, but, but that God actually brings those new beginnings to us. In the very seasons when we might be somehow beginning to wonder if we are nearing some ending of our own. It's then that the hymn goes on singing, there's a dawn for every darkness, bringing hope to you and me. Where would we be without that hope? I pray that the blessing the Apostle Paul shared with the church in Rome might also be a word of benediction for you in whatever season of life you're facing. He says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm Craig Rumble, and thanks for being together with Markham Baptist Church.